Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm. My name is Kimberly, and today we're going to be walking through integrating Google Drive with JotForm so that way every submission that comes through will sync and automatically show up in your Google Drive. So we're in my dashboard, and I'm going to go ahead and use a form that I've already created. I'm going to use my contact information form. I'm going to go ahead and click on Edit Form, and then up at the top, the middle orange button, I'm going to click on Settings. And then on the left-hand side where it says integrations, which we can either search for Drive or Google, and it pops up right here in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and click on Google Drive. And then we can see right here it says use this integration to send form submission and file uploads to Google Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and click Authenticate. And then from here, it's going to ask you to choose an account. So if you have more than one, you're going to need to choose an account. I'm going to go ahead and choose my business one. And then I want to grant... JotForm access by clicking allow. Now you can see that in Google Drive, as soon as we complete integration, it's going to automatically create a folder and it's going to create a folder based on the name of your form. So if you want to change that, you can. So right here, you can see my form name is contact information and that's going to be the name of my folder. If I want to change it, we can. Let's say I want to make it a little bit shorter. I'm going to go ahead and just do contact info. And then this second one, you can see another little folder, and here it has the time. This is going to be the name of the submission within that folder. So for me, I want the name of this folder to be their name and the time they filled it out. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this little pencil to edit it. And then we can scroll through these options, and it includes the pieces that are already in your form. So like I mentioned, I want the name. And then I want the submission time. We'll go ahead and put a space in between there and then maybe a dash. I'm going to go ahead and apply and complete integration. And then it's going to give me a link to that folder so that we can see it already done right here in Google Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this so that way it opens up. All right, you can see it, the folder has been created. And like I mentioned, it went ahead and shortened it to what I wanted it to be instead of contact information, contact info. So let's go back to JotForm and let's finish this up. And then let's go ahead, open the new tab and let's give it a test. All right, let me pre-populate this real quick. All right, and since these two aren't required, I'm gonna go ahead and leave them blank. I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit. All right, let's come back over to my Google Drive. And there it is, we can see Sandra Mesa, the first at 1.24 p.m. So it went ahead and did that. Now, another piece to this is within the form that you had, if you wanted them to upload a file or an image, that would also be included in this folder. Because if I click on this, we can see we have the submission here. But if they uploaded something else for you, it would also be included in this folder. So if you have any questions about the Google Drive integration, be sure to put it down below in the comments, and I'll see you next time.